good evening everybody welcome to day 43 of my carnivore diet um interesting thing to talk about today so i was just watching a video an older video by steak and butter gal um and i've added it to my list of interesting videos on my other um playlist but one of the things two of the things that she talked about on there i recognize and and one of them is really recent and she talked about um the the i can't remember what she called them carb mares or something like the nightmares about eating carbs which i had never even heard of and didn't even realize that other people suffered from but if you remember yesterday i was talking about the fact that i had this weird dream where i was i was eating a croissant covered in chocolate so i found that really really interesting that i'm not the only person um, that that happens to so I'm curious if anybody watches this, if you've had the same experience, maybe tell me in the comments what how that's gone for you. But yeah, I was I was sort of glad it wasn't just me, actually, because I thought, man, that was seemed really weird. And I've also noticed that recently my sleep hasn't been very good either. And so maybe this is all just some of those side effects of things, maybe toxins working their way out or whatever. And the other one she talked about was I think she mentioned psoriasis specifically but I've also had super itchy skin um, that to kind of go along with this and it was oxalates or something dumping which I'd never heard of either so I haven't done a lot of research obviously but that's okay I'm just kind of getting my way through it um, what's interesting though is that I I think Certainly the itching and stuff like that seems to go hand in hand when I don't have electrolytes. So I haven't been taking the electrolyte stuff every day and I've kind of thought, well, if I don't go to the gym, I don't really need it. But I'm starting to think that there might be a link between that as well because I think I've been a bit dehydrated. The other thing, you can't see it, but the quick of my nails, like where my skin attaches to my nail when I start to get a bit dehydrated, that like gets really, really kind of crispy and then it starts to split a little bit. And that's happened again. And so, yeah, anyway, it's a kind of an odd thing, but I've noticed that when I don't drink enough water, that, that tends to happen and it's happening now. So I've been to the gym today, which is really good. And I've had loads more water and I've had my electrolytes tonight. So that should help a little bit. And then Again, I was the plan was to kind of go to the gym a little bit more this week, so I should sort of load up on electrolytes. I'm going to order some more as well. Um, the Revive stuff I actually really like. I've tried all the flavors now, and I, I like them all, so I'll just get some more of that. So hopefully that will help with the, with the water retention, so I might not be so dehydrated, and I'll have you know the electrolytes that I need. And... Yeah, so we'll see where we go. Got all my steps in today. Um, did some weightlifting for a change, so got back into doing a bit of weightlifting. So trained for about half an hour. Did mainly a shoulder workout because my shoulders are my weakest point. And I did half an hour of cardio, so I did 15 minutes on the rowing machine, and then I did 15 minutes on the bike. And I quite like that. I quite like mixing it up, and I like getting back to doing the rowing machine as well because mainly because it's really easy on my knees and um, and it's also good for the shoulders as well. So when I do a shoulder day, I try to do rowing. Anyway, TMI probably. Um, yeah, numbers today were pretty much the same as yesterday. It was a Super Bowl last night, which was on super late in the UK. I, I stayed up till about one o'clock and then I fell asleep in the chair <laughs> watching the game just before halftime. So I just figured... I would come to bed, came to bed, then we have a cat and the cat started like sounding like she was going to cough up a hairball in the middle of the night, which woke me up. And then so I had to sort of deal with her and make sure she was okay. And then I came back to bed and then a couple hours later, my alarm went off and it was like terrible, terrible night sleep. I only got five hours, to, well, 5.45. So compared to like the nearly eight hours that I've been having lately, um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't good. So I'm going to go to bed early tonight, um, which is the plan. So recording this a little bit earlier than normal. 
and I'm going to get to bed and try and get some decent rest. The other good thing is, is my son's on break this week, so I don't have to get up super early and take him to school first thing. But my wife is going to work in the morning and she needs to be there. So it's pretty much normal time for everybody tomorrow. Anyway, um, yeah, so the rest of it, just the weird dreams and, and that sort of thing. So not great sleep recently. I don't know if maybe that has to do with dehydration and not having enough electrolytes either. So I'm going to check into that. Um, oh, the other thing that I've been talking about the last few times is is going to this place Booker and, and getting my membership sorted out so I could buy some meat in bulk. And I went and did that today. So um, I, was, I was on the bike. I wasn't really able to carry anything with me today, but at least I got the card sorted out, had a little look around. They've got loads of interesting meat and stuff. There's some duck. They've got really inexpensive duck breast, so I might try that because the duck has a really nice fat layer on it as well. So I think if I um, if I cooked duck, I think that could be a really, really good um, meat to add into the rotation just so that I don't get so bored. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll explore that more um, maybe later this week or on the weekend. But I had good steak tonight. And I had a good good diet today, so yeah. Other than, so yeah, summary of today is is I'm super happy to know that I'm not the only person that's experienced these weird dreams about eating carbs, and I'm also not the only person that's had itchy skin that comes from from that as well. So the the itchy skin seems to come and go, so we'll see what happens. But I expect that that's going to go away um, in time. But there we go. So that's me for today. And if you're on doing your own diet, let me know how it's going. Let me know if you've experienced any of these symptoms. Check out the other playlist um, and, you know, have a look and see. I, th I think it's the very last one on the list because it's an older video and they're in chronological order. So if you, you might have to click into the heading and then go to the end to see it. Um, so if you haven't watched it before, it might be worth watching it because she goes through a few things. And yeah, so that was really good. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.